So our story begins, where a girl's curiosity transcends. Now, although she was prone to going on long and meaningless explorations, it wasn't until the discovery of the old 1968 atlas map she found in her grandfather's shed that she thought she may have finally stumbled upon the correct route. And so she searched, and oh boy did she search, for her meaning in this meaningless existence of life, her purpose, and the quintessence of her very being she had lost so long ago. With each passing step, she continued to follow the map aimlessly, leading her to her newfound Rolls-Royce Silver Seraph 2000. With each passing moment, it became clear that one thing was certain, that her path was untraveled, and if anything, fatuous. But as for her curiosity, well, nothing could wane that just yet. The searcher's friends were equally as undirected and lost as the searcher, filling their lives with meaningless, unfulfilling, and distracting tasks as a form of escapism. But it wasn't until the searcher came running in that they were forced to face their truth. Despite her friend's efforts, the searcher continued her attempts at persuasion, eventually convincing the teens to commit to reading the book. Reflecting on my life's journey, I've like learned the following. the following lessons. The purpose of life is the expansion of happiness. And of course there's a saying, to thine own self be true, and that's really important. We're all different, and we should all not try to be somebody else. Find that which you like to do, what you want to do, and that which you're good at. There's a Sanskrit word, and the word is dharma. D-H-A-R-M-A. It's a really important word and it means duty, but also it means duty that's aligned with your makeup, with your nature. If you're destined to be a footballer, a great athlete, then be that athlete. If you're destined to be a poet, don't try to be the footballer, be the poet. The other side to this is that you want to engage in action for the benefit of the world, for the benefit of others, to make things better, to improve life. Because you benefit from that as much as the people around you that you've helped. And there's an important point that as you get to the end of your life and you're living more on memories because you're not doing that much new, it's better to remember happy things that you did, positive things that you did, rather than be having regrets and unhappiness because you did bad things or mean things. That's an important point. How will you be remembered? An exercise you can do is to imagine, okay, it's my funeral and somebody's delivering a eulogy. How would you want to be remembered? Now there's a saying, nobody on their deathbed towards the end of their life regrets that they didn't spend enough time in the office. It's more what I did with my life. What did I make of my life? What did I learn? How did I grow? What people did I meet? How did I help them? That's what's important. I believe confidence is one of the most important parts of self-expression. Before I started dancing, some of my biggest fears included talking to new people and putting my hand up for new opportunities, even those that I knew I'd be right for. As a dancer, confidence is something that can make or break your chances in a room, whether it be an audition, a class or a performance. Presenting and selling yourself is vital to the job, and underneath all of that is a strong sense of self and identity. Finding what inspires you and who you want to be is so vital in eventually becoming that. For me, it was when surrounded by like-minded people in safe and open spaces where I felt I found myself 
what I stood for and who I wanted to grow into. My dancing is a reflection of everything I've learned about myself and a collection of parts of every person that inspires me. We're all mosaics for our environments and our interactions. Make the most of that by being your most authentic self every day. So the teens finally agreed to write their own story within the book. Seneca once said, while we wait for life, life passes. So you've had to come to terms with understanding that there's no right way of doing anything and that there isn't a set purpose designated to each individual. There's a certain beauty in the idea that individuality and freedom bleed through our imperfections. If we never embrace our shortcomings and differences, there is limitation to our self-discovery and understanding of our purpose in this existence we call life. It's important we take part in activities that light a fire in our soul, whether that's sport, making art, dancing, music, writing, anything. Life isn't permanent. And as damaging as that sounds, there's some sweetness in the idea that this experience we call life doesn't last forever. So seize the day. Feel your emotions wholly, the sun on your skin, the scent of crisp air on a winter's day. Sometimes the answer to life is to purely just exist. Thank you.